Hi guys, this is Jay Rombowski again, and I want to talk to you about a new Printruder that I've uh, made. So here's the original Printruder by Zago, and it's awesome, and I love the design. It's worked for me very reliably for months, and I thought I should improve it so that I can have a little bit more functionality out of it. There's a few things that always bothered me. So I started with his original installation retainer, but I didn't change anything. But then last Truder, uh, bearing holder, I decided that I really need a place to mount my uh, Plestruder control board. So here we have the Plestruder uh, control board mounts over here and over here, and you should be able to just slide the uh, control board in, and then put a screw in there or a piece of filament, and it should hold fine. When you're printing this, you're going to have to hold this up temporarily uh, when it's printing, otherwise it's going to kind of sag, but it should be fine. Then I got the slide for the protruder, and what always bothered me was whenever I'm changing out my filament, uh, the holes would become misaligned. So I added a stop at the end, so that whenever you slide it in, it's always going to be in place. And finally I went to the motor mount, and there was some talk about uh, wiping down your filament so you don't get any dust inside the your extruder. Also, when you're printing with PLA, you should really cover PLA with oil as it goes through. So, I made a bracket to hold a filament wiper, and here's the filament wiper. So, with the filament wiper, uh, just stick a cotton ball in here, and put some uh, 10W40 oil in there, and when you pass in some PLA through, uh, your cotton ball should be held in place. So finally, when you put this all together, Here's my new Printruder, I'll put it together, and I'll call it the Printruder version 2, and thank you Zago for the original design. Uh, good luck everybody, and enjoy printing.